Welcome once again to the Sprunk Extreme One Cup. The one and only race where you can get the best cars in the whole entire world racing on one single track and having a lot of fun doing it. Today, right after you like and subscribe, I'm looking for a lot of likes on this now. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can note it. Today we're trying something new. Did you notice some people have Sprunk Buffaloes and some have Hot Ring Sabres? So we're going to see which car is the fastest and uh, how, it, how it lines up. So there we go. We have started the race. Emerald and Juxtry. There's B-Dogs. I think he's in a... No, he's not in a stock car. He's got his uh, Sprunk Buffalo, I think. Oh, giant. Taking the long outside in. Thankfully, with the slipstream, that's going to pull some cars up. But the guys in the Sprunk Buffaloes, which is the old car that we used to use, are at a disadvantage here. I'm, I'm almost 100% at it. Oh! M. Royal. Lifting off this. Wow. He says, he says, I told Jesus to take the wheels, and he did. So... That explains it. So Juxtry is out there hanging alone. He's begging for begging for assistance back here. But it looks like Emerald is not listening to it and just going full speed up ahead. And Giant just skidded him. That's a way to put him in the back. Now Juxtry can pick him up. So everybody's talking about paying attention to the slipstream. Yeah, he's like when everybody's swerving back and forth. Uh, Demonic saying that when everybody's swerving back and forth, that what happens is is they you end up yeah you don't want to block so because you end up ramming into the back of the guy in front of you who's trying to you know give you give you a good solid slipstream. It's one of those things of saying when somebody's slipstream and you just kind of let it happen. Because when their slipstream pass, you're right back with them. And this is actually working really good. I'm amazed at how well, uh, how balanced this is. Giant! Giant is playing pinball machine with Juxtry and Emerald. But he's got, he's got the time, so he's moving up. So as we cross this finish line, we got 15 laps here, so it's about 15 minutes. Demonic with the top speed. B-Dog's coming in with RPM. Those are your guys that are to beat right now, but I think it's a lot to do with how much they weren't fighting in the back. As they move in on the top guys, RPM splitting the difference in Juxtry. Sideways, and he's going to be left out to dry again. B-Dog survived that. That's a good deal. We'll move back to him because he's got a lot more view in that that back position and I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to move back up with it. So that's the thing is if you guys want to continue to see a Sprunk Buffalo with the um, Sprunk Buffalo with the uh, Hot Ring Sabres I'm all for it. I just I don't think these cars are going to be competitive uh, in the overall race but But if you're willing to see both these uh, these cars together, I am willing to put it out there and let everybody run it because I think it's a great idea if they can be competitive. But you can see these top guys are not Sprunk Buffaloes. So that kind of just says it right there. But that way, if, if, if you guys, you know, don't have a hot ring saber and you bring a Sprunk Buffalo, I won't. I'm not kicking anybody out for it. Uh, the other car that I kind of let go, but I know it's definitely slower, is uh, I wanted to put in Drift Tampas, but they just really don't fit the bill for this kind of race. They'd be great to have for their own race. Oh, wow. The flip-flop from M. Royal taking the wall. That was that was crazy. And M. Royal, oh, I thought M. Royal had the best lap, too. He's close to having it. 
But that was... You cannot run up on somebody like that. So we're down to... Uh, M. Royal. Okay, he's... So let's see how bad M. Royal's got. Oh, so he's... He's back with Jux here. So these guys are gonna... Do a little flip-flopping, and it looks like they have B-Dogs with them. Demonic's taken first. So we're going to move right back up there. They, they got some distance to make up before they get back. They're complaining about the whiteness of the apron. Come on, guys. <laughs> RPM takes the wide berth over there, but I think he's really trying to work for that outside line that's really giving him a lot of a, a good run on it. Trying to get ahead of Demonic and getting himself a good line, but Demonic's going to stick to him like glue because he knows the longer he has that boost, the more he's going to be able to um, run it. What we want to see, and like I said, it's always open for people who want to play, is we always have uh, a spot for anybody that wants to play in this. Is we play on the Xbox system, uh, and we're looking for we're looking for a full thirty player room, and we we've got races that allow it. So, um, I mean, I'd be happy probably with about sixteen because we you know obviously not every race has enough to accommodate the 30 players and the other thing is is that i'm not sure the stability would even handle it for 30 i think the pretty much the limit would probably be about 25 so if i had 16 and 20 players i wouldn't ever complain so so if that's something you're looking to do um you know send us a message um what we don't tolerate is obviously vindictive players players who like to just hit each other and basically cause a nuisance when things happen the, the reality is is that, I mean, you've seen here bumping, rubbing, crashing, things like that do happen. So the, the, the more you keep your nose clean, the better off you're going to be. But in the same respect, have a fun race. And, you know, we go for points. And obviously the more players we get and the more successful the channel gets, um, the more stuff I'm going to be able to offer people that, that play in the series. So that's what really what the... The goal is is to make sure that um, you know that we can get guys that you know fall into different ranges that can be awarded things and have a real good, solid competitive type event. Um, that uh, to basically, I want to get something big. I want to get something with some kind of big tournament thing that allows people to um, to race and be competitive. And it'll be it'll be just great to have it. So if that's something that you're interested in doing and. Uh, you think you got what it takes. Like I said, for Sprunk, it's easy. For Car is can be a nightmare for, for, for experienced players and, and notoriously easy for new players. So it's kind of weird. But in the same respect, it works out once you see it. You'll, you'll understand it. So that will be on Friday. So make sure you tune into that and uh, check out for Car. Um, also, at the end of all these races, we always leave the playlist of each race so that way if you're any miss it, races that you missed you can go back and check them all out and they're just a it's just a blast to, to watch I, I love it when i myself go back and just run through all of our old competitions to see you know how these things have become what they've become from you know lobbies of 16 players to lobbies of two you know or four um, we've gone from every kind of extreme and tested a ton of tracks from Martinsville spinoffs uh, to Daytona spinoffs to created tracks that are just amazing. So, and we just kept the same rules the whole entire time, and it's been a blast. I'm so glad that they brought the Hot Ring Saber into GTA. It was one of the best moves ever. And I'm actually going to send a suggestion to uh, Rockstar again for another idea that I think you guys are going to love, and hopefully they implement it if they do. You can guarantee that I'll be going over it uh, with one of our races. And it'll be a hoot. So here we are. Trading positions with the first two guys. RPM. There's a constant complaint with Jux back here that they're not 
that they are not catching up. And the reason that they're not catching up is because the two front guys are slipstreaming as hard as these guys are. And that's the thing is, is I mean, it's, it's got to be terrible to have those guys right up there in, in vision and know that you've got such a solid, you know, one, two drifting move or excuse me, drafting move and not being able to catch up with them because they're right there. And Emerald and Jux are definitely playing the game right now. I. The one of the things is, is, is some of the tracks out there we were talking like last week's track really did not show you what certain you know playing teamwork with each other how that works and how that that slipstream kind of plays into it and how well racers who can slipstream can use that to their advantage and uh, this is now you're seeing it in action because we have a good track that has space. Um, and, and a place where these guys can trade trade spots. And and as you can see, like the way Demonic and RPM are back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, they're actually keeping... They're keeping these guys at bay and a spun around Juxtry. Uh So that's going to leave Royal up there all by his lonesome. Okay, so we're on the 13th of 15 laps right now. With RPM and Demonic fighting it out. And the, I don't think that's going to mean much right now. But when it comes to that last lap, it's going to be who wants what. So let's look at the lap times right now. M. Royal with the best lap time right now. But he is not happy with his teammate who left him hanging. Demonic takes the pass. Each one of these laps is about a minute flat. So the question is, is how is RPM going to play this right now? I, I'm guessing he might do a block maneuver. I don't know if that's going to pay off. Demonic's the kind of guy, he'll roughhouse with you. And, and he can usually get the better end of the stick, which is not something RPM really excels at. Uh, from the from the from the true rough housing standpoint, I mean, he, he'll probably say he's good at it, but no. oh, RPM was spun around, ah, and there goes Giant. Did he keep going? I think he slowed down for him. Yep, he slowed down for him. I hope this isn't going to ha be hat one because this was a competitive race. It was nice of him to give him the space when he hit him. But is RPM going to let him have it back? And I can't get this camera to work right now. It's really frustrating. So I don't know if he let him by or if he just, when he crashed him, he went down with him. Oh, he's going to use B-Dog's, B-Dog's, B-Dog's drag to get around it. And Demonic's been left in the cold. And that's how it's going to end right there. Oh, he tried to grab a little bit from him. So Demonic's going to pull him the second. And RPM, again, is going to dom continue to dominate his top place position. As Royal finishes third angrily. 
yelling at Juxtry about it. <laughs> so this is another great race, guys. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank all the racers that came out. I want to thank everybody that watches the channel, everybody who keeps consistent with us. Um, if you're new here, we're great to have you. We hope you stick around. Uh, like I said, always like and subscribe to the videos. If you like and subscribe, click that little bell icon. Guess what? You're going to get a lot of them. Check out the playlist that we're going to have in the links below to see the entire series. And if not, catch us next Monday and next Friday for the next races. Have fun, guys. Bye.